printing the idle speed uh, 35 centigrade, 36 centigrade, 36, uh, 95 Fahrenheit. Um, I'm, I always run it at full. I'm running at a full of a uh, full fan mode. It's always constantly 100%. I leave my stuff on 100%. I never leave it at its own. Uh, I never leave it on its own. I just let it sit. I set it uh, at a manual setting 100% on fan mode. And I'm running the huge uh, stock. Let me show you a stock cooler. Y'all want to see a stock cooler? This is a real stock cooler I got for you. Now, look inside the PC here. And what we running here, we're running this huge Cooler Master here. It's got a little dusty all the time, but hey, it's running really smooth. And you saw the temps. I forgot what you call it. I call it the H2O or something. You know I got a really awesome deal on this PC. I cannot believe it. I thought I might show you guys. Hey, this is a, a really nice cooler. Man, I know I got a wired mess in my computer, but I'm not concerned about it. My temps are fine. And I got a vacuum cleaner if I need to ever pull that out and dust her off. But she's running really good. She's been with me for four years, five years, and I love her. Now I'm going to show you guys that this machine can outperform a 980 Ti. I got these two dual masters here. And these crews, I can get one of these crews along at a 95 to 132 frame rate on DirectX 11 where I've been with them at 1080p. And that's just one one card alone I'm running on default speed I'm also running a dual channel well, of course there's down there you're running at the tank TPDs uh, SPDs are 99 924 uh, the real tight timings I love it and I've never ran into any issues games are running really fucking fast I'm really surprised at this machine. Everything's running really smooth. It's an ace rock and it runs really rock and roll. I call it the Extreme 4 and that's what it is. An Extreme 4 machine that goes out there and kicks some balls. Thank you for watching this channel. There's uh, 